In this video, we're going to learn about contact groups. When you're in Outlook, you're going to need to click Contacts in the lower left. And to create your own contact group, you're going to come up here to the top and click New Contact Group. You want to make sure that you name the group. And then to add members, you can come up to the ribbon at the top here and click Add Members. If you are creating a group with personal contacts that you've added to your address book, you're going to want to click from Outlook Contacts. But if it's um, a group of McNick people, you can click from Address Book. So let's say that you have a club or maybe a new committee, um, or maybe you're even putting together a contact group for one of your classes. You can go through and you'll be able to search people just like you would when sending an email. And then once you've picked everyone that you want to add, you can click OK. And now you'll see that they will show up here. Maybe down the road you decide that someone doesn't need to be in the group or maybe you accidentally added someone that shouldn't be in here. You just need to highlight them and then click remove member and they will be removed from the contact group. So once your group is set up, you're ready to go, you can press save and close. And now anytime that you want to send an email, you'll be able to just find that group. And now it sends to everyone in that group. So there's no need to um, copy or add anyone within a contact group to the email because it's only going to send to them one time. Um, if you're not sure if someone's in a contact group, you can expand it here and it will show you who's in there. Another way that you can check out contact groups is to, again, go to the contacts and in the top right, you can click address book and all of the bold names in here are the contact groups. So if you are not sure maybe who's in a group, you can, again, just double click and it's going to show you everyone who's in that group. Um, and you may be surprised, we've got a handful of contact groups already set up for you. So um, for instance, faculty and staff is going to go to all employees at McNick. All teachers is only going to go to um, the teaching employees at McNick. Admin team is obviously going to go to all the administrators. Um, so check those out and, and make sure that you know what we have out there because it's really just going to make it easier on you to type in a contact group when you go to send an email or a meeting request as opposed to having to individually find everyone that you want to invite and type them out if they're already in a contact group.